Hey guys, welcome back to Mousetrum Gaming Studios. Today we have another battle report for you guys. It is going to be 1500 points of Admech and technically Imperial Knights True. against Connor's Grey Knights once again. We're kind of going to run around the armies with what the Grey Knights can take on. So far, if you haven't seen it, our last video, they kind of whooped up on the Tyranids a little bit. The mighty Dread Knights are some force to be reckoned with. Hopefully. We'll see how they survive against the Admech Firepower and an Imperial Knight yeah. this game. Yeah. One quick note for you guys before we dive into the armies. This video is going to be released on a Monday, unlike all of our previous battle reports are on a Friday. I want to know, what do you guys prefer? Monday, Friday, do you care, do you not? I just want to see how the, uh, how the YouTube algorithm plays around with the, the videos. A little experiments, and also, we are less than 50 subscribers away from 1,000, which is our big milestone. We have a big celebration video event planned for it. It consists of a lot of models. Stay tuned. So stay tuned to that. Help us get to that 1,000 subscribers so we can do this big video. And without that, or with that being said, I guess we'll dive into the armies right away. Here is 1500 points of Admech and Knight, so it's basically a thousand plus points of Admech and just under 500 points of a Knight. We, I, I'm not, I'm trying something a little different here. I don't want to just play Lucius because it's kind of boring after a while, even though I haven't played that many games with them, it's still already kind of boring. It's just so strong. It's, just, it's powerful. It, I want to, there's so much more in the book to try, so I'm going to do it. We are playing a Rad saturated custom, uh, not, I was gonna say high fleet. It's basically a Forge high fleet. World. Yeah. And so what this does, it gives all of my ranger vanguard, not rangers. It gives them base strength four on their guns and base AP minus one. And if you are shooting any of my vanguard from more than twelve inches away, you are minus one strength. So those storm bolters only be strength three in all of them. Yeah which is pretty good. Yeah, super good. It'll help out a lot. Uh, the list is head up by a marshal. He is the warlord. He has the Exemplar's Eternity, which is the giving out reroll ones to hit and to wound mm -hmm. as a bubble. Mm -hmm. He also has a warlord trait, which is programmed retreat, a pretty solid one. So he will give that out to anyone who needs it, pretty yep. much. You see it a lot. You'll see, yeah. Every, every marshal pretty much has it. Yeah. The second Warlord is a Tech Priest Dominus. He has a Relic. I paid it a command point to give him an extra Relic. And that is, the name escapes me, and I don't want to get my phone, but that allows him at the start of every fight phase to pick an enemy unit within three inches and they have to fight last. Oh. And it's not cool. fight last, it is fight after all of their eligible models have fought. So gotcha. it is last last. Okay. Uh, so he is going to be accompanied by nine uh, electro, -priest. electro priest thank you my yeah. they're, they don't, they're not like they are electro priests but these are from blackstone fortress so nine electro priests the the close combat ones obviously mm -hmm. and they will be all inside of a dune rider he can ride in there with them yes he can he has just oh. one slot oh they so seem so bulky he, he's a little bulky but you know he just Pops along. Maybe he's sticking out the top. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, he's got a little port right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, okay. So they, get a, they, they will all be one nice block. He gives the Electro Priest rules one to hit. Uh, so, you know, I'll take it. And he yeah. lets the enemies they're fighting fight last. So okay. we'll see. I haven't used Electro Priest yet in 9th edition, so I wanted to bring him out. Yeah. The core troops of this army, besides the five Rangers, just, you know, I had the 50 points, so five Rangers. Yeah. Besides them is three blocks of Vanguard. And these Vanguard are very close to WYSIWYG for your purposes. For mm -hmm. you guys, you won't even know it's the difference. There's just one model or two. So we got a 20 man block with two plasma, an arc rifle, and a data tether. Okay. We have two identical 10 man blocks with data tethers and arc rifles. Sure. Arc rifles actually are gonna be good because you have your Dread Knights and they are better against vehicles. Oh, so I'll nice. take those. That's the troops, I'm just, I'm spamming every Vanguard I have in order to maximize the usage of the Rad Saturated Forge World. I mean, on top of that, they're also like one of the best they're, units in your book. They are very good. Yep. 
Then I have two fast attack slots. We have two units oh, of two, two iron striders. Gotcha. Yes, so we have one unit of two las cannons okay. and one unit of two iron striders. Auto cannons? Auto cannons. Yeah. Iron striders with auto with cannons. Auto cannons yeah. I wanted to drop this squad and take dragoons, but hmm. I thought that I needed a little more shooting in the army because, I mean, I got the knight. And the knight's great, yeah. but knight, las cannons, I needed two of these, otherwise you're going to gun one of them down and I'm going to be down shooting. I would try. So I figured yeah. two squads of two is probably a safe bet, make you choose a little bit of what you're shooting. Yeah. Then, of course, the centerpiece of this army is my knight paladin. Mm -hmm. He is basically what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. He's got his rapid fire battle cannon, reaper chainsword, and heavy stubbers. I think it's technically just one, but he's modeled with a few extra just for fun. Sure. This fun fact was Connor's old model that I bought off of him. Years ago. Years ago. And I had slowly taken it apart because I was able to take it apart, re-clean it up, and paint it all brand new to fit the Admech because a knight, it, an Imperial Knight didn't really fit with Grey Knights. I never used it. <laughs> basically is what it pretty is. much yeah it needed a home yeah and i wanted a knight because it was the only thing this army was really missing was the knight so and i mean admec make the knights they, yeah you know so yeah. it makes sense it makes sense so that's 1500 points yeah. i'm down three command points because now a knight only costs one command point oh. extra to bring thanks to the 2021 chapter approved updates cool what are the other two on uh oh that's just one so extra relic Oh, okay. So I'm down two command points. The extra relic know. and an extra detachment of the knight. Okay, cool. So I'm at seven command points of our nine. I will also be at seven. You'll also be at seven. Yeah. So that's the Admech. Let's take a look at the Grey Knights for this battle report. Today, we have 1,500 points of Grey Knights, and I am running the Silver Blades Brotherhood. So we're going to start off with the HQs. My Warlord is... Grandmaster and a Nemesis Dread Knight. Who would have thought that he'd Who be a warlord? So he has the Warlord trait. First to the fray, again, because I think it's really good. Very good. And I have paid a command point to give him a second Warlord trait, which is the Silver Blade special one. Uh, Martial Perfection, which gives him... Drumroll, please. At the start of the fight phase, if your Warlord is within engagement range of enemy units, he can fight first. So he gets to fight first, uh, always. Mm. And all of his melee attacks, you get to reroll the hit. Now, that's good because today, I just so happened to give him the hammer. And Craig brought a knight. Not planned. <laughs> Not planned, so, but it works out. Uh, I also gave him the Psy weapons here. Psy, heavy silencer, heavy Psy cannon. Uh, his extra points upgrade is going to be Servant of the Throne, which gives him a three up invone when I decide to activate it for the rest of the turn. Turn. That is turn. Okay. And finally, his relic is going to be, oh, I wrote the wrong. We'll stick with the one I wrote. Uh, Agrium Scrolls. It basically allows you to reroll one hit and wound roll each turn. He doesn't need the hit. Uh, in melee, by the way. In melee. So it doesn't help with the hits, but it'll help with a failed wound. Yeah, absolutely. Which is great. Next, we have the Brotherhood Librarian. Uh, it's pretty much the same one I took last time. I want to try it again. Uh, he's got Gate of Infinity, Warp Shaping, Change the Tide, Teleport some stuff. Uh, I gave him a Combi Melta because I needed to fill out my points to get exactly oh. to 1,500. And I also gave him the Gem of Anaktu again, which is plus two okay. to cast for your, not Sanctic, Dominus, Dominus powers. powers. And he has a Warding Stave because he has a Warding Stave, he has a warding stave on his model. And finally, we have, you'll be seeing the 360, mm -hmm. the beautiful new Castellan Crow, painted by Craig. Um, he's awesome. His sword actually does stuff now. <laughs> and uh, he has sanctuary i let him have sanctuary maybe give it to his purifier buddies here sure and i also paid one cp because i said i would uh, to give him his warlord trait here we go hammer of righteousness which is reroll wounds 
in close combat after you charge or get charged. Oh, that's good. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to spend it to make him as good as he could be. Absolutely. That's the HQs. Next, we have four mans, four five man squads of strike squads, strike guys, and they all have halberds. All of halberds. That's what I wrote on the thing. Okay. And that's what we'll stick with. Next up, we have a purifier squad. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, they are, well, they all have halberds on here as well, besides the Knight of Flame, their squad leader. Uh, I paid the 10 points to give him a demon hammer. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they'll be throwing out cleansing flame, purifying flame, and hitting stuff in close combat. They are all inside, them and Crow will be inside of this Razorback, which I also upgraded to fill out the points with a Hunter Killer Missile. Oh man. Storm Bolter and Twin Last Cannon. Twin Last Cannon. So I have a small amount of shooting actually in this list. <laughs> and finally, we have Kurt and Ed, as you guys may not know them. That's how we know them. The two Dread Knights. The two Nemesis Dread Knights. Uh, I forgot to mention he has a personal teleporter as well. Mm, yes. They also have personal teleporters and they have the swords, heavy side cannons, and I, they're WYSIWYG. I gave them the incinerators, the incinerators. for the points. Uh, it's pretty simple. Woo! But that's the list. Um, I have a feeling this will be a little more difficult than the Tyrion and list I played last time. Maybe, maybe. We'll see we'll how I see. take on the knight. I think that'll be the... The knight will be... Your psychic is going to be much more effective. Yes. Than it was last time. And essential to kill that knight. And essential. I need to kill that thing. But the knight and the Skitari themselves are going to be more difficult to kill. My psychic's more effective, but my enemy shooting is... Uh, Yes. Ten times as effective. Yes, I did not play a shooting army last time again. I believe you, you had two guns in the whole list. Right. So. so this is a bit different. But I am either you know, either way, I'm excited to see how much my Grey Knights can actually take against a yeah, that's scary absolutely. list. We we don't have the mission decided out. So we're gonna go get the mission set up and finalize the table, all those sorts of things, and we'll come back to you guys when we have it all set up, showing you deployment and everything great at the start of the game. 1,500 points of Grey Knights versus Adeptus Mechanicus and the assistance of an Imperial Knight, of course. Mm -hmm. House Orlock is that knight. Cool. Didn't know it. This Imperial Knight, or my whole faction is based out of House Orlock, which is a real 40, or yeah, 40K army. Oh. Well, faction, sub-faction. Okay. Gotcha. Didn't know it the whole time until I painted him, and Sam's like, hey, that's House Orlock. You're like, great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, so we've set up, this is, again, 1,500 points. We are playing, I believe it is mission 12 out of the incursion. It is uh, resupply. Okay. Uh, the secondary is secure landing sites, which we have five objectives. I should point those out. One, two, three, four, and hiding in here. Maybe we'll get a little... It's hiding down it's in right there. right past the door there, yeah. Right past the door. So it's a, it's a hold one, hold two, hold more. Yep. Very simple. You notice we are a little bit closer than standard. That is because we are playing an incursion mission on a big board. So we have an 18-inch no man's land in this mission. Yep. Get right into the action. Uh, we will go over our secondary. So like I said, we are both taking the secure landing site one. Yes. It's very easy to max out. Yep. So similar to priority target in... In 2,000 point games, we basically just have to hold these middle objectives to get an absurd amount of points. And they increase by as battle the game round. goes on. <clears throat> yep, so turn uh -huh. two, each of these objectives in the command phase are worth two points. Yep. Same with turn three. Turn four, they're worth four points. And turn five, they're worth six points. Woo! So it's pretty easy to max out. So the, survive. Just survive. Just survive and hold it. Yep. We're also so... Connor, you are also taking Engage in All Fronts. Yep. And the last one was Bring It Down. Bring It Down, yep. I feel, I mean, with your Iron Striders, I'll get one point per model. With your Transport, I get two. Two points, yep. And with the Knight, I get four. Four. Right? four. Three or four? Three or four. We'll double check, but yeah, something Either like that. Either way. It's, it's a good chunk of points. Yeah. For me, I am doing the 
resupply or secure landing sites. Yep. I am doing a bore the witch because I don't have any psychers in this game. Crazy. So I'll get probably a relatively easy 15 points there. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, you will. And then my last one, I'm doing retrieve Octarius data. Yeah. So some reserves just to cover over here. You'll pan over and we'll show Connor and I each have a unit in reserve. Boom and boom. I paid one command point to put the five man uh, ranger squad in there. These guys are deep striking. And then we each have a unit in our transports and an HQ in the transports going off at a duel right here over objective two. Little showdown. Otherwise, everything is ready to go and we have yet to roll to see who goes first. Indeed. What would you like? You know, as uh, I would like to say, I want to go second because I want you to come closer to me, but let's be honest, you're not going to come that much closer to me. Nah, too much. I you, first. You deployed pretty aggressive, so I was assuming you were going, wanting to go first. Yeah. I would be okay with either. I deployed fairly defensively. Yeah. So we'll see. Shall we? What happens? That is a five to the one, mm -hmm. meaning it is Admec, turn one. All right, so beginning of, well, I should say end of the movement phase, turn one, not too much really happened. I shot that thing all the way up the board, the Dune Rider, just to sit on that objective, hold you off into your deployment zone and, you know, see what we can do there. Your objective secured, so you could easily take it from me, mm. but uh, that's okay. This big squad moved up with the marshal. Uh, not quite, uh, I didn't advance or anything, so I will be planning to shoot all up into those Dread Knights and Strike Squad. These guys shifted over. They do have targets on a number of models or units. Mm -hmm. We'll see which ones I choose. The unit down here, they are doing my Retrieve Octarius data. So that's the first point for that, easy to do. And the Knight's just sitting here. Uh, he's waiting back for a little He's bit. waiting, he's gonna take a few shots and maybe Wait till that hammer is wounded before I uh, charge into the open with them because gotcha. that hammer could probably one-shot him. It's possible, I think. You got, what, six attacks? Seven attacks? Six attacks. Your reeling failed hits and wounds? Not wounds. Oh. One, one failed wound. One failed wound roll. Yeah. And you do D3 plus three damage. Yeah. I don't get a save against it. No. I have 24 wounds. Yeah, you could, you could do it. True. He could do it. You could do it. it with your shooting in there, you could definitely do it. Yeah. So I got to stay away from that hammer for a little bit mm -hmm. to give myself a chance. Uh, Canticle-wise, I did do the the con Conqueror Doctrine. So these guys, or my whole army has plus one to hit and minus one, or plus one ballistic skill, mm -hmm. minus one weapon skill. These guys in here are doing Benediction of the Omnicide. So each unit gets one rural failed hit, wound, and damage roll. Mm. Damage isn't gonna matter. I hope none of it matters because I wanna stay inside my transport. Yeah. But uh, in case you crack it, just a preventative measure. Okay. We will start by going into the shooting phase. And I've got one gun to shoot right away. And that is this lone arc rifle is oh. cracking a shot off into the Grandmaster. Okay. So it is an arc rifle. So it auto wounds you on four pluses because you're a vehicle, but I have to hit you on a two. Okay. I hit you. I auto wound you on a four plus. Hmm. It does wound. It is AP minus one only. Okay. And it is three damage because Whoa. you are a vehicle. Three damage. Yes. I fail. You fail. So do you want to re-roll that at all? I'll re-roll it. Oh, it's AP minus two. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, uh, you, it's AP minus two. But you do get your cover. Oh, yeah. Your light cover built in. So you're looking at a three up Still save. A three. Yeah. I'll spend a command point. All right, so you're down to six. <laughs> Fail it again. Rough start. So you are down to uh, 10 wounds on him. Yeah, wow, that does so much damage. They, they do great. We'll, we'll mark them up after because I got more coming. Okay. So that was him. That was great. Now over here, I've got another arc rifle, and he will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. The two plasmas are going to shoot into uh, the Dread Knight Grandmaster as well, mm -hmm. and then all the other shots are going to go into 
this squad right here. Gotcha. So let's go with just the arc rifle first. Now is the plasma, what AP is the plasma? Ooh, AP minus three and I am gonna supercharge it. I, I'll just declare my three up end bone. Right now? Turn. Okay. Seems right. Yep. All right, so here is the arc rifle. It does hit because of my, my Doctrina. Mm -hmm. It does not wound. I get to reroll failed wound rolls of one because of my Marshall. Gotcha. Does not wound again. Okay. All right, so now the two plasmas. Two plasmas. And we got all four hits. All right. And we got all four wounds. Oh my. Ooh. All right, so I have a three up in bone on this guy. Oh, you tanked him. You made him. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna, I'm gonna gather up all my dice because it's gonna be a lot of them coming into those uh, strike squads. Okay. All right, we're doing this twice. We're gonna do this twice plus the second one. We'll need three extra dice. Okay. So we're looking at twos, which re-rolling the ones from the marshal. That was a nice healthy chunk of ones. I'll roll them off to the side here. We got them all. Beautiful. And now these are fours to wound mm -hmm. because I am in my rad saturated detachment and we are rolling ones to wound. Although I only see, oh, there's one. It's quite the powerful combo. It is basic a guys. nice, powerful combo. Roll those two, nothing. Is that all of them? All right, so you got three, six, nine, ten, eleven saves at minus one. Six, eight, ten, eleven, minus one, two, fours. One. Oh boy. Not great. Oop, I think I just might have got rid of one. It's my fault though. One, two, three die. Three die. All right. Yes. We're back. Okay, we checked. Connor made a lot of three ups, so only one and a half died. Cool. But we have round two of the volley here. More than half. So let's see. Gotta get these ones re rolled. Oh, we still failed one. That's okay. That's. That's good. High expectations for the ad. High friend. expectations for this squad. This is the the retinue of the marshal here. These are fours to wound. We roll. Oh, lots of ones. Lots of ones. Lots of lots of ones. Let's get these. It's actually pretty good. That's very good. All my fails except for a few were wow. well. That's yeah, converted. Oh, no, that's a lot. So this time we have one, two, sorry, three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18. Wow. 18 Six, saves. 12. Of 14, the Vanguard 16, just 18. ripping out into. You know, for eight points a model, that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty potent. It's I didn't even insane. use the stratagem to auto wound you. That is pretty insane. Let's get these dice out of the way for you. We need threes. Let's see it. Ooh, that's a lot. I think they're probably two, dead. three. One is left on a wound. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Well, we'll one. Leave the guy on a wound. Just there he is. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Oh no. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. All right. Let me figure out what I'm gonna shoot next because I want to see if I can finish him off, maybe. Okay. Uh, and we'll be right back. All right, now for the other shooting that probably will do a good significant chunk. These two auto cannons are going to rip open into the strike squad there. Hopefully I can wipe a good chunk of them out. You will still though get three up saves because cover. you got cover and you negate all my AP1 going on here. Good try. So these are twos and threes. Okay. So twos, actually that was not that bad. That doctrine really saving me here. Doctrine is powerful. And threes. Wow. Very good. That was powerful. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of these is a dead marine because right. these are two damage. Okie doke. We got threes. Wow. That's cocked. What a roll. One of them dies. One of them is plastered. But overall, 
Ow. Very solid shooting, or saving, I should say. Thank you. Now, I have to deal with that one lone marine there. So my dune rider is going to shoot all four of his heavy stubbers into him. Now, I believe you're more than 12 away, so I still get my cover. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you'll still get your cover. You're going to get two up saves on these. Oh, yeah. So okay. I'm hoping... I believe in you, little buddy. That's cocked. Yep. Okay. Let's see some wounds. All right. Well, no, that was bad. There are three of them here for you. Three two-ups. You failed it. You failed it, and you already used your reroll. Yeah. All right, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. We got them. The two Laz cannons are going to fire into the Dread Knight. Which one? This one? Yes. Yep, that one. I think it's the only one I can see technically. Oh, yeah, right. Got so some securing here. Yeah, let's go to there. So four shots hitting on twos. We'll leave it. Okay. Uh, wounding you on threes. Mm -hmm. Oh, dice down. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What other rerolls do I have? I have some rerolls that I might use. So I'm going to leave two wounds go through okay. on your four up invone save. Two wounds on a four up. Okay, one. one through. D3 plus three damage for five damage. Five damage. Down to eight. That's a lot. That's a good, that's it's a good a chunk. Damage. It's not bracketed. Uh, not oh boy, do I have any other shooting? Oh, of course. I have the, the big man himself. Mm -hmm. I am trying to decide. I'm gonna spend, <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna spend one command point mm -hmm. on the stratagem out of Engine War, which makes his battle cannon flat three damage. It's Boy. one command point. Okay. And I'm going to shoot. Mm, I'm gonna to have to shoot the Grandmaster. Okay. So how many shots is it? It is 2d6 shots. 2d6. It is, oh man. It is eight shots. I am happy with that. Pretty good. So two, four, six, eight. These are hitting on threes. Okay. Mm. Okay. You still have your three up invuln active, right? I do. Yeah, maybe, I should, maybe I should have shot the other one. Uh, wounding you on threes. Okay. Okay. That's good. Three up invuln. Fail one or two of those, I'll be happy. Failed one. So another three damage chunked off of him. He's bracketed. Wait. No, he's no, at he's seven. Not. He needs he to do one more. Just barely not bracketed. Boom. And then I'm gonna look up a stratagem that has to do with my arc rifles because I did wound him with the arc rifle, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look up one stratagem and then We'll come back, that might be the end of my turn otherwise. Cool. So we'll be right back. So I did check the, the stratagems. It is called overloaded systems. And the way it works is if a vehicle model has suffered a damage mm -hmm. from the result of an arc weapon, so in this case the arc rifle, you count for your next turn as having half as many wounds remaining. So in this case, you'll rounding up, so you'll count as having four wounds, which will put you on your Second. Second bracket. Yeah. I would have liked to get it down to your lowest bracket. I would complain. You pretty much just neutered him. For a turn, he's going to be neutered a little bit. Yeah. And there's only one command point, so I think, why not? We'll go for it. It's a very powerful stratagem. Other than that, I scored one point for Bore the Witch, or three points technically, and I'm doing a tick for Deploy Scramblers. I am on only two objectives, but that's okay. We'll go into Connors, or the Grey Knights, turn one. All right, you guys, we moved up, as you can imagine. Uh, disembarked the White Helmet boys, Purifiers, and their leader. I'm hoping to crack the tank before so I can just kill the guys inside easily. Yep. Uh, we'll see about that. Otherwise, pretty, pretty easy to see what we're going after. He's on yeah, the objective. You're on that. Yeah. And I'm hoping... Nice charge here. I'm hoping. I mean, you can take guys away. Yeah. So 
I don't know about that, but we'll see. Okay. For now, we're going to do a psychic phase. Okay. Oops. And we're going to start with Big Boy. Big Boy. Big Boy is going to cast Empiric Amplification on the tank. On the tank. To increase the damage for my nemesis and psi weapons oh boy. by one. Oh boy. Yes. Now it is a warp charge seven. Okay. Oh. Oh. I think I'll use a stratagem to roll 3d6, discard the lowest. Okay. That's one command point, right? One command point. It is called psychic channeling. Psychic channeling. So that will put. Indeed. We're going to start keeping track of command points here so they're yep. a little bit easier for you guys to idea. see what we're sitting at. So, psychic channeling, I roll 3d6, take the lowest, I need a 7. I get it. Nice. And it's a good thing I use that. I, yeah, so, I can't deny. So no weird psychers. having Craig not deny everything with those pesky Tyranids. Uh, all right, that is, you can only cast one, so yep. that's fine. We will next, let's do Crow. Crow. Yeah. Purifying Flame. So is, yeah, he's going to use Purifying Flame for the first time. It's Warp Charge 5, but it's actually a 4 because it's Crow. Nasty. He's a purifier. Nasty, nasty. So, let's use Purifying Flame on a 4 up. <laughs> barrels. barrels. Do you want to reroll that? Otherwise, he takes D3 Mortal Wounds. I should probably reroll it. So five. You do ignore the D3 Mortal Wounds on 5 ups. I'll still burn it. Still burn it? All right. He gets it. Gets it. So that's three mortal wounds just shrugged off of me. I actually need to roll a d6. Oh, because it could be more. Or zero like that. It can be zero. Rip. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Nope. Sorry. I was wrong. It's If it's an 11 plus, you get d3 plus three. Oh, that's so it. So you, you were right. It's okay. just three mortal wounds on the tank. Okay. Three mortal wounds, so it's down to nine. Yep. Next, I will cast Purifying Flame again. From, from the, the other squad. So now it's a five you need. Now it's a five. Oh, Barely getting got it. Got it. That plus one. So that is six mortal wounds down on me. Six mortal wounds on the tank. Six left to go. Cool. Well, I mean, that's cool. That's can, pretty good. That's pretty good. I can just do good. six mortal wounds like that. Uh, yeah, let's do... We're going to put all of his shots into the tank. Are, are we done with the psychic phase? Oh, sorry. No, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> um, we'll start with... We'll start with hammer hand on him. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Reroll failed wound rolls. Reroll failed wound rolls in melee. And that is a warp charge five. Here we go. From the Dread Knights. Easy. He's got hammer hand. Next, we will do... I think you got this squad here. This squad, they can either smite or hammer hand. Um, I don't have a feeling, I have a feeling you're not going to be getting in close combat here. So why don't I smite with them? Sure. Smite with them. Boop. I got it. I got it. D3. D3. One. One, no, die. Little mortal wound Got action. no save. Unfortunately, my leader's out front, so... That's not good. Can't pull, can't pull straight for that. <laughs> Next up, we will do... Did I already do it? You did him. I already did him. Yep. You got his cool power off. Yes, you got these. this the flank. Empiric, but... yes. Uh, these guys... You're uh, they, with an 18. They're definitely going to smite, yeah. All right. And we'll go like this with a... Yep. Yeah. So D3. Three. Another three. Three wounds there. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, that's one too many. There you go. Cool. And now this Dread Knight. Let me um, put him back. You still got line of sight, if that's what you're wondering. I was wondering. And yes, I guess I will smite there as well. This was the guy we measured, and you had a line of sight to him without going through the dents or obscuring, and he's still there. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to smite with him. He is not smiting. What's he doing? I... I almost want to do nothing because I want to make sure his incinerator can get in there. Oh, Because that will do more damage most likely. Yep. Yeah, I should do more damage. And I don't think it's worth hammer handing because I could perils. Yeah. So I'm going to do no psychic powers with him. That's fair. Yeah. It's a weird thing to do. Anything with the Libby? The Libby is going to burn his gem, his oh, 20 boy. point gem, to give plus two to all of his casts. 
Isn't it? It's only Sanct or Dominus. Dominus. Cast. Yep. Okay. I only have Dominus powers on oh, this game. Easy. Okay. He can take. Yep. He can take multiple or Sancti powers. But we're gonna start off by using Warp Shaping. Warp Shaping. Plus two. He gets it. Gets it. Bam. So the tide is about to change. And the tide is changing to the tide of convergence, is which that... is add one to the range of psi weapons. Oh, which is cool. That's cool. But more importantly, it is uh, unmodified wound rolls of six from nemesis weapons in close combat mm -hmm. inflict a mortal wound. Oh, right. Now with the cap of six, do six per enemy unit, per enemy unit. Thanks to the FAQ. It's the new FAQ. I understand why. <laughs> and I'm debating if he's going to use Gate of Infinity. Uh, really no reason to. Well, you burned the gem. <laughs> I did burn the gem. Uh, bink. Is that within? Does that count? Uh, yeah. What are you measuring for? Smite. Oh, yeah. Your smite. So uh, my smite would normally be at seven. Oh, but now you need a five. But now I need a five. Sure. So that's another cool thing about the gym. Five. You got it. All right. How many? One. One more dies. We'll take that. Doke. Pesky one. Gotcha. Well, are you, are you sure you wanted to smite? Because I'm going to pull this one. I think I still have it, though. Oh, maybe you do with both of them. Pretty sure I have it. All right. I'll kill that one then. Those, yeah. I'll kill that one then. All right. So <clears throat> we killed some little guys. Yeah, uh, we did. How many wounds on the tank? Was it six? You did six. Yeah, so he's got six left. Okay. Cool. And now it's time for the other very important phase is the shooting, shooting phase. phase. You know what you're going to do? You want to think for a little bit. I know what needs to be done. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So Thanks. we're going to start with this guy. He's going to declare both guns, incinerator and side cannon, into the tank. Oh, man. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> all right. So it is plus one damage from all these shots. Yeah, let's just do side cannon first. To, uh, just the side cannon? I think that'll be enough. You only need three wounds to go through. If they're or You only need two. You said they're plus one damage? Yeah. Yeah, you only need two to go through. Cool. You sure you want to put all of them on to... Well, I guess I could just... Ah, maybe I don't have to. Well, I can't reach anything else with my flamer. Okay, I guess then. I'll yeah. put all my shots in. Okay, be fine. safe. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. So he's gonna hit on threes. Okay. And it's gonna wound on threes as well. Yep. P minus two. So that's three. A P minus two. All right. I have three up safe. So five ups. Oh, he he's dead. Now, okay. I'm going to spend one CP. And explode. And auto explode. Well, Remember that I do ignore. You do ignore. All right. Just what would have happened? I'm just, I like to see. Okay, so we're down to four. And the mortal wounds will come out. You You're do. hurt your guys too. Uh, does not hurt the guys inside the tank. What? I have to roll separately for them. Which oh. means I will spend one more CP. Oh. To make it so the guys inside are not hurt. At all. At all. So you, that's two CP move it's right there? It's two CP. Okay. It's like an emergency disembark. It's like a safe explosion. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need every model in there. So how many wounds does Crow take? D3. Takes two. Should I roll them as we go? Yeah, let's roll those ignores. Five ups. Nope. No. Okay. The purifiers will take three. Okie doke. So Crow's taking two. Pure. Oh my gosh. Nice. You know what? This is the 666th chapter of the Grey Knights as well. Oh. If you didn't know that. Well, that's terrifying now. <laughs> and the Dread Knight will take two. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh my gosh. Five sixes five in a row. Five sixes in a row. Wow. Well, now my CP are not looking too well spent. Wow. That's, the Aegis is awesome, you guys. That's like <sighs> the best part of the Grey Knights. All right. I'm going to... Uh, Crow's down to three, though. That's nice. I'll pop my dudes out and we'll go from there. Okay. So I got confused with an old engine war strat that is no longer in the codex. So I had to roll three of my Electro Priests died and now they're staring down uh, scary models. 
I did get my CP back, but uh, not looking good for the Electro Priest, sadly. I needed to get rid of them. It's besides the knight, that's your close combat counter punch, and close combat's kind of what I need to do. All right, well, uh, how are you, what's, what's happening next? Uh, basically, that was all just from his shooting. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to declare other shooting, and as you said, we'll do the purifiers into the Electro Priests. All right. Need to gather some dice. All right, we'll uh, his gather his dice and we'll show the roll. Ready? So we have 20 shots coming in. 20 shots from the purifiers into uh, the Electro Priests. Uh, no buffs or anything. No buffs. Some misses. It's an acceptable amount of misses though. Yeah, I'll take it. And your T4, three. They're three. I'm, I think I'm three. Let, let me check. They're a little scraggly guys. They're, you know, yeah, you can grab it for a second. Let me let me check because I, they are T3. Yep, that's what I thought. T3. Go for the roll. And we got threes. A couple misses. A few more. So we got two, four, six, seven. Seven. I got five of five ups. That's five up in bone save. Oh, that's I a pretty good. Do make three of them. Pretty good roll. Five up, ignoring wounds. Another good roll. Okay, so th three die. I'm down to three of them. I'll just shoot with Crow, maybe. He's got the special storm bolt there, right? No. Oh, he doesn't. That's only Grandmaster's chaplains. Okay. So, misses with one. That's all right. He's got the regular storm bolter for two more wounds. Two more wounds. Five ups. Nope. Five ups. Nope. So there's one, one poor guy good. left. All right. All right. You know what? You want to think about what you're doing next? No, I know. You know? Um, I do. We're going to use the Razorback, which I don't know when the last time I used one is. Um, yeah, we're going to use the Razorback. We're going to shoot. You got line of sight if you're looking down here. I think that's what I need to do. Those are the last cannons, right? These are the last cannon, boys. So why don't we start with the twin last cannons? Are you going to pop the Hunter Killer or not? <laughs> Yeah. You, have to, you are going to pop oh, it. thank you. You're right. Yep. Uh, yes, I'm going to pop the Hunter Killer missile. Okay. But we'll start with the last cannon. Twin last cannon. Here we go. I just want one hit. There we go. You got it. And uh, it's a three. Got it. It is. I do have a six up in Vone. Okie doke. And D6 damage. Yep. Come on, Mark Dave. Two. All right. Two. And Down I believe to four wounds. Four wounds. And the Hunter Killer Missile, it's a slightly different profile. It's got less strength, higher AP. So is that it'll what be it is? identical to the last cannon in this instance. Oh, cool. Let me just see it. Uh, yeah. You're right. Strength 10, AP minus two. Count of three. He hits. It hits. It wounds. AP, wait, only AP minus two. Yeah. Oh, so I will actually get a five up. I didn't make it. And um, a D6 damage here again. Oh, killed one. I got one. Does that one blow up? I really needed that. No, but you do take out. It's just the gun. That's, the I really needed cannon. to get rid of a gun. Okie doke. Next up, we have um, Buddy Boy here. Buddy Boy. Now he is going to be hitting on a three. Three, because he's bracketed. Because he's technically, he's bracketed without it being bracketed. Yes. Because of Craig's arc rifle. Where are the shots going? All of them into this squad, or are you going to split them? Is the side cannon, can I even put the side cannons? I don't think he has range on anyone else. Not down here? No, he does not. So I guess everything's just it's getting... all into that squad. All right, I'll let you gather up your dice. Thank you. we'll be right back. Sure. All right, 12 Gatling silencer shots coming in to... This guitar. -y. Indeed. Now they're going to be on threes, like we said. Boop. Um, bummer. It's a lot of twos. Now remember, you are minus one strength. Minus shooting. one strength. So this is only strength. Strength four. Four. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter. Still doesn't matter, but still. Still threes. Threes. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, that's cocked. Give me another one. Yay. Three at AP minus one. Okay. So three five ups. <coughs> we do make one, so two will go down. Okie doke. And now we have the Gatling Silencer. No, not Gatling Silencer. Uh, side Cannon. Heavy Side Cannon. Thank you. Heavy Side Cannon. And we're hitting on threes. 
So many twos. That's a good stratagem. Makes up for the... Uh, and twos to wound, still. Threes to wound now. Oh, no. It's only... It's I'm only... Stra I'm strength only eight. Yeah, it's strength eight now. Woo! Three wounds, AP minus two. Six up in bones. Nice. Ah, made we made one, so two more go down. Two more go down. Got it. And... Uh, Pick off you and you. It's you have eliminated my down. flamer from. Yep, he can't shoot that yep. anymore. Yep. So that means I forgot my storm bolter here, but that's okay. We'll leave it. It's just a storm bolter. Um, you are within twelve. This guy. Oh. This guy can't see anyone, so he can't shoot. So that one can't shoot. Is that how that works? Yeah. If he doesn't have line of sight. Yep. Still, three of them are going to shoot in. Three in rapid fire. And you are within 12? Yep. Okay, so then you won't be at minus one strength. Bloop. Sad. Okay. But only three get to hits because we've killed some other ones. So one, two, three. Yes. They are re-rolling ones to hit because the Grandmaster, which is one hit. Nice. Wow. That's a pretty good roll. That's a very good roll. And it's strength. Oh, you said it. You don't get the... Don't get it, because you got to be... Uh, so it's threes. Threes to wound. Oof. Ooh. It's rough. Two. Oh, that's cocked. Out. I need to reroll that. Ah, oh, damn. Four. Four. All right, so one more dies. Okie doke. Next up. Oh, man. Now, I only can see you with... Probably two. two. All right. Yeah, I can two see more. Two. And the do librarian. Do you mind if I just do the librarian with them? Yeah, sure. The librarian just has a no. Is a combi melta. It's so he can shoot the bolter half still. He can shoot the bolter. Half. Okay. Yep. So two, four, six. We're just doing the librarian with the guys here because they're all on threes. And wounding on. He's now three, wounding on fours, fours because you are outside fours. range. Didn't come up. Didn't this time. matter. Okay. We do fail another one. Okie doke. So you've killed half that squad now. All right. And now, uh, this is the last shooting. Yeah, this is the last shooting. So I can and I cannot use the flamer this turn, which is a bummer. And we're just going to use a regular old heavy side cannon. Just a regular old heavy side cannon. From Ed into the auto cannon crawlers, striders, walkers, the chicken walkers. Chicken walkers. Threes. Missed one. Okay, okay. And threes. Dang it. All right, so three go through. AP minus two. Two, so five ups. Be nice if you failed them all. Woo! Guess Just not. one will take two wounds. Two wounds. Gotcha. Not bad. All right. That was a that was a pretty good shooting phase. Decent shooting phase for sure. Not gonna lie. You got a few charges here that I'm Looks scared like for. Will you check? Look above there. Um, I think you might only need an eight. Okay. And he can't, he does get plus one to charge. Ooh. You can do it with the 12, an 11 or a 12. He gets plus one to charge. Here, so let, let's do this. Yeah, you need an eight there. Okay, so my first charge is going to be him into them. Okay, I, I did like not, Overwatch. not worth the overwatch, so. So I think I, I, think I need a box cars here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, double mark a Dave. He does have first of the fray, so plus one. Oh, I only need a 10. No. Nah. So then you need an eight inch on um, ah. the other squad. Yep. Ooh, do I want to overwatch that? Nah, I won't. Not likely. They don't get the plus one because the Grandmaster didn't charge in. Yep. But I think it might be worth the uh, reroll. Snag that charge, you'd get on that objective. I'll burn it. Burn it. I'd really like to try. He's burning it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, you lost the CP in that. Now, some charges that you are probably going to make. No, it's, we'll see. It's not guaranteed at all. <clears throat> um, Do you want a multi charge or not? Because if you. Multi-charge, you can swing both, but you have to make it to him, which would increase your charge by an inch. Yeah, it's a seven. That's a but seven if you don't multi-charge, then he, you can't fight him. Right. Um, 
So we will... Oh boy. You want some thinking time? No, we'll do oh. a regular charge into the single guy there with, with the, the dread. dread Knight. Okay, okay. I don't know no. if that made it. Pretty sure you did not. Let's check. Can I get within? Well, actually, maybe. No, looks like you you needed a six. Okie doke. To get you within an inch. We'll multi-charge um, with the purifiers. You're going to multi-charge, so you will need a seven to get you within an inch. Wow. Nothing. Not um, a we'll crow. We'll multi-charge with crow. I think it's still a seven as well. Still a seven. Hey, you got it. Good and job, buddy. He can easily kill the two of them. Ah, uh, maybe. Well, I do have that warlord trait actually, so probably. Yeah. Good job, Crow. Do you only have two wounds left? Three. Oh, it's a three, I see. It's a three. Okay. Indeed. So, uh, nothing else can be charged. I don't think so. Nope. Nope. You already, already rolled those ones. All right. We got a quick fight phase. We'll let you gather your dice and see if Crow can beat down these two. Cool. All right. Add mech. Turn two, we need a big turn here. Connor delivered quite a punch to my uh, offensive capabilities. I still have some punch left. A lot of guns left. A lot of guns left. So I'm, I'm hoping to kill a lot or at least cripple a lot this turn and allow it to be a pretty easy cleanup for the rest few turns. It's going to be how many Dread Knights can I take out this turn? Mm -hmm. We're going for two. Mm -hmm. Can I do more? Don't know, but... We'll see here. Uh, simple movement. Uh, the Iron Strider swung up over the edge in order to get line of sight on the Grandmaster Dread Knight. The, uh, what's this big guy? The Knight, the Paladin, has moved up. So he's got charged targets and multiple shooting targets here in the corner. These guys moved up in order to have shots downrange there and there with the Arc Rifle. And then he is in range here. These two Iron Striders moved over just so each one has shots on a different strike squad. And then this squad can shoot up whichever one has survived. And this squad has got range on that Dread Knight. <clears throat> so it's right. going to be a big shooting phase. Mm -hmm. For my, my command phase stuff, nothing really happened. I will gain a command point. I did forget to do that, so I'm up to five. Mm -hmm. No doctrines are being done. I thought about doing the save one. However, I needed the movement in order to get everybody in range of shooting. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have anything and we'll have to see how that goes. Gotcha. But without anything else, we can go right into the shooting phase. I'm gonna start with the first LAS cannon down range onto the Grandmaster Dread Knight. No modifiers to hit or anything. Okay. Shooting on threes. Ooh, I'm going to keep it. You have plenty of other shooting. And threes. Got it. Four up in Vone. Four up in Vone. D three plus three. I'll burn one. Burn the CP. Sling you down to three here. No. All right. I'm not making the saves today. Damage. It's five. Ouch. So he's sitting at two mm. wounds. Okay, that's fine, that's good, that's great. That's great actually, good start. Next, we'll go with, let's go with this, these guys here. I'm gonna do a Craig special as it's been called and split fire. Yeah. So we're gonna put one down there and one down there into their strike squad. Strike squads. Yep. So we'll start with the one by the librarian. <clears throat> Looking for threes and threes. First roll is a not so great start. You know, that's what you get. We do have two wounds. AP minus one. You don't have your tide. So. You do not have the tide, so fours. Okay, one. Kill one of them. One is dead. That's okay. Now into the other strike squad, which already has one down. That's better. It's more on average. And three's to wound. Oh, man. Okay, two. Again. Four ups. Oh, that's what I get for split firing. 
I will never learn. <laughs> I will always try. I will always try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go because that went so well with this squad here. We are going to put all of the shots except for the arc rifle here. The arc rifle is going to go up into the Grandmaster mm -hmm. Dread Knight. Yep. I'm wondering if I should put the plasmas up there because he only has two wounds left. Yep. Oh, you know what? We got to go for it. Let's supercharge the plasmas and the arc rifle, put everything up into the Grandmaster, and we'll put the last three guns into them. Regular guns into Regular them. radium carbine. Er, radium yeah. carbine. So, arc rifle. I am in range of the marshal. Dang it. Dang. All right, plasmas. So, first guy. Ooh. That's a miss. But that's okay. Second guy. Reroll that one. Okay, so two each. Did he kill himself? Did I roll one? I didn't roll one on the second die, though. Oh, you didn't? Did I? It looked like a one, but I was looking through the camera. Shoot. Okay, we'll check, we check after. We'll check after this. Okay. We'll keep going. I I thought I rolled two, but we'll I double check. I couldn't tell for sure. Uh, so wounding on threes. All right, two wounds. AP minus three. So you're in Vaughn. You got to make both of these. In Vaughn. Oh, man. All right, and we'll go with just the regular ones into the strike squads. Six is auto wound. I think I forgot that the last time, mm. but it uh, didn't matter because I didn't roll any. Mm. And four is the wound. It's a cool... Wow. I mean, that roll wasn't the that best. Wasn't that's a cool... Uh, little rule. That's a cool... What's it called? <clears throat> the four the rad. Oh, no, that's always. That's always with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, fours? Yep. Whoop. Failed. Oh, okay, so we killed one. Kill the guy. Kill the guy. All right, should we check the roll Yeah, let's there? check the footage and then we'll be okay. here back. So we did check. I did roll one. Nice catch, Connor. So one I of the plasmas. It it's an important thing for me to catch. Those plasmas are scary. That's unfortunate. So I traded one for one on models there. But in um, points wise, that's fine. But uh, that's good for you. I would have liked to kill that Dread Knight. Yeah. You have some other guns. Yeah, though. we'll do some other guns. So, speaking of those other guns, we're mm -hmm. going to go with this squad now. I'm going to put all nine carbines into in the crow. Oh, no. How dare you? And then we're going to put the arc rifle into the Dread Knight. Okay. So, let's do, I can do the arc rifle first, and then I'll sure. have to gather up the other dice first. But here's the arc rifle into the Dread. I am within reroll bubble. It hits. Four plus to wound. It wounds. And... Uh, Invuln save. Invo so, oh, it's IAP too? Yeah, only against what a vehicles. Crazy gun. That is three damage. Damn. Okay. Okay. So what's that put him down to? Five. Five. Perfect. That is a one shot from the big sword. So now I should have... Do I have exactly enough dice? Oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Nice. All of these carbines going into Fear crow. crow. Oh, crow. Yeah, crow. Uh, I can reroll one, so get. Okay, not bad. Reroll the ones. We convert three of them. Sixes, auto wound. So I'm gonna remember that. One, two, three, four auto wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely forgot about that the first time. These are AP minus one. These are all AP minus one. He's a goner. What's his toughness? Is he still four? Oh yeah. Even though he's a titan among men of yep. his size. Well, his model looks like he his should model be is. So those are. It's a lot of. Uh, Wait. Oh yeah. Why don't I just roll nine? <laughs> yeah, it's thirteen of them. All right. Here's nine. Whoa. Wow. No, it's AP minus one. AP minus one. Wait. Okay. Does he have a two-up save base? Yeah. Oh. So I just saved not. Wow, I saved eight. And there was 13, so you got to roll five or four more. Because you rolled... Okay. Yeah, you do. Okay. He's, al God, he's alive. But he's alive. He he took one wound. He really has a two-up save base? Yeah. Oh, my God. All my HQs always have two-up saves. I didn't know. I didn't know Crow still did. Oh, yeah. He's not a, he's not in the Oh, power that's not good. Wow. I would so, have obliterated the... Uh... I took one wound. Crow. Sorry. What a guy. I'm going to have you facing him. Huh. 
That's unexpected. I'm gonna. Hmm. Let me. Okay. Let me. Let me do some thinking. Sounds good. About what happens next because I did not foresee that. Okay. So I didn't see that coming. We're gonna have to try something different. So far, I have killed zero of my targets I anticipated. Sure. Unfortunate. I've done some wounds. You've damaged them all. I have Maybe damaged two, five, them. Two. So we're gonna go here with this squad of 10. I would have liked to put it here, but I really didn't think you would live. I didn't either. So over here, we're gonna do enriched rounds. Mm. So hit rolls of five plus are going to auto wound the Dread Knight. So we're gonna start with the arc rifle first. This does not uh, auto wound on five. This plus. is a different thing. This is different. So no rerolls here, but it hits. Wounds on a four plus. Ooh, that one worth. No, I gotta save the CP for the battle cannon. We're both pretty low here. All right, so now all of the shots, looking for a lot of fives and sixes. I don't see any. Uh, I see and there's a, a few. Oh. One, two, three, four, Six up there. five yeah. auto wounds. Then I gotta take all the ones and twos out. Okay. Now wounding on fives and sixes. Okay, that was nice. It's a pretty good roll. Another so another five. Yeah. So ten wounds at minus one. We go five there. Five there. Ten wounds at minus one, huh? Yep. Three up sasaves. Not one, good. two, three, four. Okay. Pretty bad roll. Okay. So you're down to nine there. Down to nine. I wasn't expecting to kill that Dread Knight. I just wanted yeah. to get some damage off on him. Yeah. Get, the, get him on the start of the death train. Yeah. So now, uh, let me just check two more things with my knight, and then we'll do the final shooting. Cool. Okay. I checked over all the weapons. We're going to start first with the marshal into oh. Crow. He's got his pistol. It's an 18-inch range. Strength 4, AP minus 1. So I might be able to plink one more wound off. No, let us duel here. One shot. It hits. Auto, auto wounds on sixes. Nice. It's all it wounds. Okay. And it's AP minus 1? AP minus 1. One damage. Whoop. He's good. Dang. He's good. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, then the rapid fire, or well, the knight. I'm mm -hmm. going to put his heavy stubbers into crow. Okay. Just because we might be able to get him. And you have two? One. One, one heavy stubber. stubber. And then the rapid fire battle cannon yeah. is going to go into the purifiers. Oh my. Okay. I'm going to spend the CP to make him damage three. Wow. That Just way. To ensure you kill them all. It ensures I kill them and I don't accidentally it's true. kill like two or three of them all. Yeah. Way. So the number of shots. I'm going to spend a CP and reroll that. I need. Eight. Eight will do. Eight again. Eight is a good number. Eight so eight let's time. start with the the stubbers though. Stubbers. One hit. One wound. No AP. Two up. Okay. We figured that would happen. Five, six, seven, eight. Rapid fire battle cannon shots. We're hitting on threes. Okay, I think that's pretty much average. Now I gotta wound you perfectly here. These are strength eight. Twos. I think they're strength eight. I think you're right. <sighs> okay, let me double check that they're strength eight. I'm pretty sure you're right. I think they are, they are. AP minus two, correct? It is AP minus two, strength eight, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Gotcha, I'm debating. I probably should, no, I had to declare that before. Oh, two point strat, but no, it's okay. I had to, to reduce damage by one. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't matter because I'm damage three. Oh yeah, never mind. So we're just so five ups. Five ups. Uh, yeah, five ups. That one's cocked, but no. okay. So three of them are dropped. Okay. Okay. Gotcha there. Okay, that's it for my shooting. Um, oh boy. Not, not ideal. 
Not ideal. Let me... Well, you did a lot of damage. I did some damage. I was hoping to get a little bit more. What is this charge? That is going to be as an 8. as difficult as I could. But over here, it's only a 5. Yeah. Probably. So I'm going to just charge these two. Oh, my. I think. Yeah, we can do it right in the charge phase. I don't have anything else I have to really deal Let's with. Let's do it, yeah. So, You're going to charge me here, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got it. That is uh, asking for, for death. death. Yeah. Um, I don't... Nah. Overwatch? Nah. nah. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't. It's not worth it. Oh, got it. It's like you made it. Got it. All right. Now, <laughs> who do you... Wait, how does this work? So you... What is the rule? You get to make all your attacks first. Yes. Oh, sad. Why? I was hoping you would have to, if you're splitting oh, them, splitting them. Then maybe because Crow goes gets his fight first rule. No. Ah, okay. So I'll get the swing first. All right. I am going to use. I believe I can split his attacks however I want with Sounds the feet. Right. And yeah. So I'm going to use two attacks, two feet stomps on Crow, mm. and two sword swings mm. on the Dread Knight. Okay. Does he hit on twos? No, he hits on threes. Oh boy, this is uh, this is intense. What should I do first? I think you should do crow first because you're more likely to kill him. All right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So three attacks a piece, or because I'm using per attack. three per attack. Yep. So six stomps. On threes. On threes. Oh, nice hit. Brutal. Okay, now we need uh, twos to wound. Twos. The stomp isn't weaker. You're you're. T4. I, you're T4, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm strength eight base. Wow, nice. So two's to wound. There's Crow. five wounds at minus two. Ooh. Four ups. Four ups. It's very possible. No. Yeah, he's gone. He will still get to fight though. Does he fight immediately? No. Oh, okay. But after. so after this. Yeah. Alright, so now the two attacks onto the dread knight. Okay. Oh. Nice hits. Both hit. Uh, you are T6. T6. I am strength 14. Okay. So twos. Twos. Uh, no, I'm not strength 14. It's strength plus three. Three plus eight is 11. Oh no, it's strength plus six. Plus six. Plus six. So okay. I'm strength 14. So twos. Twos. Oh, nice. Okie doke. You got to make two in bone saves. Mm, oh. I did not make him. You want to reroll? You're at three. He's dead. Otherwise. Mm, yeah, we're all. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, man, these four pin wounds are insane. They are very strong. All right, so Crow and the. They both get to They fight. both get to fight. So you did put him down to two. No. He's down to. Three damage? What? How much damage does the... You saved them both. Oh, well, you're right. Thank you. Otherwise, you'd be Thank dead. Thank you. You're right. Yep. Good call. So, Crow is dead, but he gets to attack because yep. he comes built in with heroic sacrifice. Oh, man. So, it's if I get destroyed, do not remove it. It can fight after everything else is done attacking. And I do have my Warlord trait, so it's possible that I actually do some wounds to you. Yeah, you definitely could. It's time. Take it. I'll take the camera. Hey! <clears throat> so, sitting on do? twos on the knights. I am in tide of convergence as well. Okay, yep. I need to remember that for sixes to wound. So, twos. Dang it. Okay, two misses, two misses. Big bummer. Uh, I just want to see a six here. That would be really nice. And usually I'd be wounding your toughness. Eight. So, I'm wounding you on fours now because of the trait. Oh. Dead. Wow. Three wounds at AP minus three. I got a six up save against those. Okay. Save one. So that's four damage. Okay, down to 20 wounds. He did something. Did something. Honestly, good performance by Crow his first time out. He survived a lot. I am upset this Dread Knight lived. I'm going to be honest. You I needed four it. Four up in bone saves. I needed it real bad. So. He gets to fight. Oh yeah, 
So he's, uh, he's not on his lowest bracket. He's on his middle bracket, which is four attacks. No rerolls or anything. Great. I love to hear that. Let's do this. And we're going to go threes. Nice. Oh, no. This is obviously the uh, sword. big profile. Yep. And threes to wound. Wow. Oh, I'm dead. No, you're not What's dead. What's your AP? AP minus three. Oh, I get six ups. Nothing. And uh, it's just D6 damage. It's four D6 damage. Yeah. That's a good roll. So, uh, I'm 15. Down, down to five wounds. Down to five <laughs> wounds, just like that. <laughs> These regular Dread Knights are uh, beasts. All right, well, that's... Uh, that's it for my turn. Wow. Not looking great anymore. Well, I survived a lot that turn. You uh, you made a lot of invuln saves. Gosh, I did. A lot of invuln saves that I did not like. It's a common, that seems to be common. I don't like this four up invuln yeah. save across the whole army. They buffed them a lot, yeah. Well, shoot, we'll add up my points, but it's not looking great for the... Uh, we'll see. For the admech here. See how the middle goes. All right, friends, we are back. I've moved up again uh, for the second time. Moving up, I deep struck some guys in the back there. They want to take out those other vanguard, mm -hmm. but now we're in the psychic phase. We're going to start with probably the most important stuff. We're just going to do all that. It's going to be these purifiers. The knight has five wounds left. I would love to take three of them here. They're going to be using Purifying Flame. Yep. It's a four for them. They get it. Easy. Can't stop it. So that's three wounds. Down to two. Down to two, just like that. And uh, the... And cast Smite and finish him off? Yeah, I guess the regular Dread Knight there. Uh, he cannot cast because he fell back. You're right. Yes. Gotcha. Um, well <laughs> then... I guess he'll just... Smite. Can you smite? Yeah. You can smite. Can you smite with the, the purifiers if you pay the CP? Yeah. I kind of want to save my CP though. Sure. That's fine. Only have three. But you're right. I could have done that. Uh, we'll try smite from the Grandmaster. He gets it. Goes off. And I need a three plus. Got it. And he kills him. Does the night blow up and at least do something crazy? Oh, it was so close. Wow. As a 2d6 inch d6 mortal wound. 2d6? 2d6 inch range. Could have just dropped Could have killed him. everything on this corner of the map. Oh boy. I, I needed that to stand a chance. I mean, yeah, this is the side you would have wanted revenge on as well. And... Wow. Sad knight. Sad okay. 400 point knight died to a... Died to a sword. 120 point dread knight. Uh, 180, but yeah. 180. <laughs> so... It makes it a little better. Third the... Third is price. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. All right, so that's the psychic over here done. We are gonna do hammer hand there because why not? Sure. It's a five, I believe. Oh, it's a fail. It is a fail. CP. Really, okay, yeah, go for I it. I want it. You got it. Got it. Uh, and then we'll do... Well, I don't really need hammer hand on him because He's wounding on twos. Yep. So we'll do smite from them. Okay. Into your skittery. You need a six. You got, got it. Got it. I can't stop it. D3, one. One. Uh, the librarian. Yeah, I don't need to change the tide. I don't need to gate of infinity. I'll smite with the librarian as well. I need a seven. I fail. No. Okay. And you know what? We'll do hammer hand on the big boy. Okay. It's a six now. He gets, wow. Should have been a smite. Should have been a purifying <laughs> flame of smite, yeah. So we've got everyone, oh. They can uh, smite? Yeah, we'll smite. So okay. We, it's an eight now. Yes. Eight. Wow. Super smite. So Super you, smite? You take D3. My D, here's my D3. Three. Three. You Let me try know. to ignore those. Yep. Fives. No. Okay, so you do lose one and a half of them. <laughs> okay. okay, and then I take D6. 
Wow. That was just like a psychic surge. uh, That was a psychic explosion. That's annoying because the six important ones are right here. Holy guacamole. These guys just overcharged themselves. Oh man, that's annoying. Okay. I I guess they're, they're dead. Wow, I don't know if I've ever super smited because Grey Knights didn't used to be able to do that. To do that, that's your first super smite. That killed so much stuff. That including killed a lot. Own stuff. Okay, uh, that's the end of my psychic phase. Let's do the shooting phase. Uh, you're no longer within double tap distance there. No. So we will just shoot you with two guns each, two, six, eight. And we've got. Nice hit. Nice hit, dang. And fours. Fours. Because of my forge world. Did help there, three. Nice. You save them all. Wow. Saving grace, this Skatari can make a save. They do have four up armor, yeah. Uh, okay, now we'll do the two purifiers there. Okay. Into the same guys. Same thing. It's okay. One wound. <gasps> all right, another Pops one. one. I don't know, bites dust. Um, next, we will do the this guy. He fell back, so we cannot shoot. Darn it. Uh, I didn't use that CP, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll do big boy here. Oh. He's got both guns into that thing. Yep. He doesn't have the psychic power off on it, so he might not kill it, but we'll start with two, four, eight. 10, 12. This is the Gatling Silencer into the Iron Strider. And he's hitting on <laughs> five, two, three, fours. Fours. Oof. Oof. All right, there's a chance. That's rough. And fives, nope. None, okay. Grab some new dice here, you guys. Now we're hitting on fours. Just two. Okay, okay. Yes. Don't worry, he lives. And two wounds. Minus two. Five Minus ups. Two. Okay, it takes two wounds. Just two damage. And that's it for the Dread Knight. Oh, Dread Knight's over there. Yeah. Um, can I technically... No, yeah, I'm scared there. Am I? You're oh. scared from the tank at least. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna put the last cannons here into your iron strikes yep. back there. Yeah, here. All right, and threes, and nope, Woo! not that. Next, we'll do the we'll do the flamer into them. Mm-hmm. Side cannon into them. Mm-hmm. So flamer hits six. Can't complain about that. Five, six, and they all hit, and it's twos. It's twos. Boom. So five. Minus one or two? Minus one on the flamer. Uh, we passed two, so four, three of them are uh, mowed down, three melted. And the side cannons on threes. Yep, not bracketed. It's cocked, unfortunately. Okay. And it's strength six, or eight, sorry. So two. Two, okay. Only two. Five ups again. All right, make another one. Two damage there. Down to two, and or down to four. Yeah. And if you don't mind, I'll just do the Libby with the other guys because they all get two all shots. All into the strike. Yeah, all not strike into squad. Your, your uh, strike squad. My vanguard. Six, eight. No, we'll make the Libbies the bigger dice just so we know if he fails or not. Sure. Threes. Libby. He failed. These big dice are not my favorite. <laughs> the little ones are much better. And. We've got fours. Fours. Oof! Just one. Just one. Still fail it. Still kill them. Okay. And that's the end of my... What about right here? Oh. I also have a storm bolter here. Do you mind if I... Sure. Go for it. Actually, you know what? I forgot it. Never mind. I'll All shoot right. with the storm bolters on my strike guys there. Right in the front. Yep. They're gonna shoot... I mean, obviously. They're gonna shoot the guys right in front of them. Okay. And I think they're within six of the... Yeah, I think you are. So we missed these twos, but here's some rerolls. Okay. Oh boy. And you don't have your thing, so it's threes. Thing. 
Boom, boom, boom. We got four. Four. Do make two of them. Okay, kill two. Oh boy, oh boy, they're dead. So maybe you can fail. Wait, you have the auto three inch charge thing. No, you don't. No, You're I did not the other, I'm in the. So the extra on the moves. chance you roll box cards. Oh, it's possible. That snake eyes could get make me. Make you burn the CP, I guess. Shall we charge? Yeah. We I, shall. I, yeah. Clean me up. Now, it adds distance to go through here, right? No. Oh. You're infantry. You don't care. Okay. That's a 10, I believe. We'll start okay. with that, because why not? Oof. I, let's check. We Grab should the probably, yeah. Nine inch boy. Wow, I kind of just did this for fun. Oh, you're in. Easy. Oh my goodness. Easy. And I have halberds on these. Okay. Wow. Purifiers, you guys are kind of doing good. Uh, he can't charge anything. No. He... We're not going to do you that. You can't make it through. You can't make it through, so these guys will charge. You could technically charge, pull them off to the side, mm. and then try and the charge. You're right. So I'll start with these guys. Paranoid. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> boom. Five. Five is it's distance. It's enough to move it. It's enough. You can get him all the way back. Yeah, Craig is right. Because why not try, right? I'm gonna guess that's a 12, 11 or 12 from the Yeah, boy. go for it. We'll see what it is. He does have plus one. Ooh. I'll grab that nine inch, or you, I mean that too. So I get plus one to this. And I need it, I needed a nine. Need Got it. Are you with? Yeah, you got it. Easy. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll measure that and be right back. Battery is dying. So he made it in. Fresh batteries. We're going in here now for the last charge. You're multi charging. Uh, yeah. All I'll right. be multi charging. I'm not sure what I need, but. Oh, that's it's not, not that. It's not that. You I got will. Two CP. I'm not going to burn CP for that. No, you don't want to finish me off this turn? I think objectives wise, I'll be fine. So I'm not going to waste right. some CP there. Um, now you can interrupt. Is there anything that's no, nothing's really, a no. Threat. Well, then we'll start with that. Yeah. Do that one. That's the only uh, interesting one right here. So, um, we'll have the just or night of flame be the little ones and the guy with less attacks be the big ones. Cause my big dice are bad. Here we go. They both have halberds. So they're hitting on threes. There we go. Oh boy. And they're wounding on fours. fours. And that is why halberds are good against Admech. So five. Five, five ups. Nope, I'm dead. Damn. Do I explode? Okay. Yes, wow. you take a mortal wound. A mortal wound? Yep. Why don't you ignore it? No. No, okay, well, one mortal wound. Of all the things to explode, <laughs> it's, it's not, a little iron not what I was hoping. I was hoping for the big one. Consolidate a little this way. The big knight. Alas. Okie doke. And uh, you're not going to interrupt, are you? No. So we'll do the Grandmaster, because why not? So he okay. goes from six attacks to five to four. Okay. Lowest brackets. Four hammer beats. And he actually, oh yeah, he has the fight first thing and he rerolls all of his hits, but he's hitting on threes because of the hammer. Oh, he doesn't take any penalty to hit. Well, he does, but... Besides the hammer. The Warlord Bracketing trigger. wise, he doesn't. Correct. And I reroll those. All hit. All right. And I wound on... Twos? Twos, and I get to reroll one of them. This wow. one. Wow. Uh, well, all you needed was three. AP minus four. Six up in vote. Nope, they're dead. Okay. They are obliterated. Reaper of Obliterax. Uh, three forward. Boop. Boop. And <laughs> that is uh that's it for Grey Knight's turn two. Turn two. We're gonna we're gonna add it up, but I think it is a solid victory. Uh no question about it, but we'll uh, we'll add it up and be right back. So with the knight going down last turn and not taking what he needed to with him. It's very, very grim. The points are 11 to 24. However, I'm going to try one last turn because we've only given you two turns and I have a slim chance to pull off a lot of kills. I could kill. Now what do you want to kill? 
I would like to kill these two for sure. It's very possible. And I would like to kill this squad, and if I can kill him, that would be a bonus. Okay. That would get you... Give me some of Bore the Witch points. Bore the Witch points. And then it would take you off of some primary points. Yeah. And it would eliminate some heavy firepower. The heaviest of my firepower. Which means I could survive another turn to keep shooting. I think if I can kill the heavy shooting mm -hmm. and keep these two alive, now that I think about that, I'm gonna take a, a quick movement here. And instead I moved him three inches forward. I'm gonna move him three inches backwards mm. because I gotta stay as far away from these guys as possible. Because of smite? Smite, and I don't want you to charge me. Ah. Because gotcha. you can cut them down. We saw two of them cut one down, no problem. So Yeah, that was very efficient. So I got to stay back. I still have line of sight, line of sight. I don't know. It's not likely, but if, well try, though, if right? my dice go perfect, there's a chance I can sneak back into this game. Cool. Oh, and before we forget these guys, you know what? I wonder if retrieving some Octarius data is not smart this turn. Hmm. I'm gonna let me let me think about it. Let me yeah. think about it. Yeah, you don't have to tell us right now. Shooting phase, I did go down there and I'm deciding to do retrieve Octarius data. The shooting that they're gonna do this turn will not be effective enough to do any significant damage, though. That was a debate you had though. If that squad lives by one wound, then I will be upset. <laughs> okay. However, that is what it is. Uh, otherwise, I think the four points, if I'm going to get back into the game, I need those four points over there. I think you're right. So we're going to try it. Okay. Let's try some body ones. <laughs> some shooting. We'll start with these two. The one there and the one there. Let's Strike start squads. with, yep. Let's start with the one in front of the Grandmaster. Okay. Okay. Wabam. Okay. Good hit. Okay. Okay. Three's wound. Oh. CP. Mm. No. Two saves. Two saves. Made them both. Okay. We'll go with the other one into the squad in front of the librarian. They all hit. And they all wound. My goodness. Please. Six? Yes. Six. Four, four ups. ups. One, two, three, four. No. Okay, good. I got him. Unless you spend a command point to hmm. reroll one of them. What am I giving you? Abhor the Witch? Abhor the Witch. Uh, you're not going to be on this thing, though. Um, I'll you. What else are you gonna shoot? I have Dread two Knight. more squads of. I. Woo! Nice catch. That was I close. will burn a CP. Okay. Yep. Okay, one's alive. I'm gonna put it on this squad. So that is the auto wound on five pluses. Okay. And I'm going to put all of the shots into this squad, but the arc rifle is within 15 inches and is mm. going to shoot him. Okay. So let's do the other shots first. Got it. Uh, let's do four of them. One, two, three, three, four. No rerolls, unfortunately. Threes. In which rounds? Fives and sixes are auto wounding. Nice. Nice. That's pretty good. So that's five wounds on the Dread Knight so far. And Oof. then fives and sixes. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Wow. Okay. That's on this guy. That's on that Dread Knight. How many? Uh, seven at minus one. Wow. So okay. you mean you're still going to get your saves. Seven but... at three ups. Here we go. Fail two. two. Yep. Okay, he's down to seven. Down to seven. Now for the, the the one that really matters, I should have dumped them all. No, 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 because, all right, Here two shots with the arc rifle, because I'm in rapid fire range. Mm. Both hit. Mm. Four plus the wound. Ah! Spending the CP. 
Down to one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. But because I needed him to die right there, I don't think there's anything else. Any other strats you can pull out? Ah. Uh, Just gonna have him turn and face them. Six to six. You felt them shoot him over there. I don't really have anything else, but these three guys are gonna try and. Shoot. Shoot him? Shoot the Dread Knight, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we'll shoot the Dread Knight. He's going to hold. Um, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. So there's Good. two auto wounds. Ooh. And then uh, one more wound. So three wounds at minus one. Three, three ups. He's good. Okay. Now we are going. Oh, we have the Phosphor Serpenta mm. from him. I'm going to shoot him into that. You want to kill this guy? I need to. He hits. He woo. Ah, he doesn't wound. Okay, charge phase. Yep. Charge phase. I'm going to charge. Whoa. Yeah. What? I got it too. Okay. I, I'm gonna charge. Oh, do you have the? You don't have the taser there. Do you? No, these three into the two of them. Oh my! I cannot Overwatch, can I? You could. Oh, it's one CP. No. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. So they're going to go up here. Now I do have the fight first rule on that Dread Knight. So I'll get to go first with one with model. One model. Okay. Which is going to be him going in. He's in. Wow, so no close combat weapon there, but... He does have a close combat weapon. Oh, I thought you didn't pay he, for it. He's got a... No, he... That's that's the... That's my warlord. Oh, right. That is the marshal. He has a pimp that's cane. That's not the squad leader. No, that is a... <laughs> I could actually kill you with this. Oh, totally. So... If you have a weapon. He has... Is it three attacks or four? He has three attacks. Oh, my. Okay. They are strength six. Oh my goodness. You are minus one toughness because you are in combat with Vanguard. Oh no. I'm hitting you on threes, wounding you on threes. You better not do this. They are one damage each only. Oh boy. All right. So threes. Um, he does not get his own rerolls. He doesn't get his own rerolls. Do you burn it? Your last CP? What was my... I did plus one... Yeah, no. No, we'll go for the, the wounds. I will burn the last CP because I'm all Woo! all hands on deck. Woo! All right. Well, yeah, it didn't matter anyway. All right. So that's uh, if you want, you can cut me down, but otherwise, I'm gonna call it. I, I need to take my final swings. Sure, you can take your final swings. Cat, okay. she charged both. Oop, little Mike. My B. All right. So we've got the big boy. He's down to four attacks. How's yes. he splitting them up? He's going two and two. Oh wait, yeah, two and two. Two into the marshal, two into the little guys. Okay. We'll go. You can into... split your little your two into four with the. What do you mean? Into I mean you what? Oh, he's got a hammer. Yep. Duh. He does not have the sword. Never mind. That's all right. You only need go. one wound then to go through on the marshal. Less is on the marshal. Okay. They both hit, and twos they both wound. I I do have an info. AP minus save. four. Uh, I'm dead. He's dead? Yep. And the little guys, both, wow, both hits and both wounds. Also, two of them are dead. Okie doke. I think so, we can call it there. Probably. Yeah, so we'll call it there. That was unfortunate that my arc rifle failed me and this, this one failed me too. Otherwise, I had a chance. Because I had, had some decent saves this game. Y yeah, yeah, you made a lot of nice some in bone saves yeah. that uh i mean you made that guy the the two crucial there yeah this guy's made like four or five that would have should have killed him yeah between the plasmas and all the arc rifles that came in yep uh not so much on him but this guy yeah but had i killed uh him with the with the arc rifle mm -hmm. then i i couldn't kill those guys but yeah. Something. Nah, it was a it was a long shot. I was I was hoping I didn't 
I think it was worth it to show them the uh, another little part of the turn though. That's all right. So that was a beat down. An absolute beat down you know, by the Grey Knights. These Dread Knights are insane. The There's, Dread Knights with their four up invone, I mean that is probably the biggest buff in the entire codexes. I I I can't play with lesser models against the Grey Knights now. Unfortunately, I, I think you're right. I have to bring out the big guns. Why don't you just play with lesser models against my Necrons, though? We can, okay. we can agree on that. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to bring out the big guns when it comes to playing the Grey Knights now. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it is... The Knight was a big handicap for me. I didn't say he's a big handicap, but the fact that... He had the potential to be He had the potential. Good. And the fact that you made your invuln saves there... Yeah was uh, unfortunate, because then it would have been very different. You did split attacks as well. You could have just gone all in to the Dread. I could have, but then I, yeah. Crow could have done... That would have been like six mortal wounds from between yeah, Crow and Yeah, Crow would have been able to do a lot of damage, which I didn't want to happen. Yeah. So I was hoping that this flank would have been cleaned up by the Knight. Yeah. It did not happen. Even just... Killing him, he yeah. wouldn't have taken the 15 wounds in return, yeah. which is what was a big issue. 15 wounds in a regular Dread Knight. It's, it's unfortunate that that happened. Had that, yeah, I think that was a big swing right there. It absolutely. Otherwise, because then I could have, it would have been contesting here with this yep. Dread Knight. All of my fire could have focused on this one. Yeah. Would have been a lot closer. But the, at the end of turn one, I was completely unsure of who was going to win. Oh yeah, it was uh, it still was, it was still close. It was pretty even at the end of turn one. But uh, yeah, gonna have to bring out the big guns. I like Crow. Crow's I cool. I don't think he's super competitive or anything, but he's really cool. He's and cool. He does a lot of damage. He did. I mean, 15 he's moves. only like ninety points, is he? Yeah. He's so I mean, absolutely worth his points. He's. I think he's worth his points if you have the HQ slot. I think so too. And the points, I'd slide and slide him in by himself. Just go. Just throw them behind some guys. Kill and... some things, do some mortal wounds. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to have to bring with the Admex. I mean, I know what I'm going to have to bring. I mean, you know, yeah. I know. I just, you know, I was trying to stay away from it, but I'm going to have to. giving me a not mega competitive list for my first two games with them. Yep. It is, it is true that the night was a little bit of a hindrance, but I was scared of it. You yeah, know, I was hoping that, it would do some uh, yeah some big damage. It had the potential to, but I just we'll, made some invones. We'll see. I don't know what you'll see next time. We'll know a battle report. You guys will see next time. Yeah, it'll. You might see Sam and I going off again. Maybe I'll go back to Necrons for a little battle or something. Maybe. Or if you guys get us to one thousand subscribers, you might see something different, something, something special. Can I say this? Something yeah. a little bigger. Oh. Is that a good Ooh. hint? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good hint. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let us know in the comments what matchups you want to see. Maybe yeah. we will swing a 2,000 point game. I'd love to. Eventually show the uh, the competitive nature of the, the Grey Knights. Glory, yeah. Maybe I'll bring the Tyranids out. I don't know if I want to do it just yet. Maybe give another break. Yeah. Because we just did that battle. Yeah. But uh, we'll have to see. I, I would be curious to see how my tournament list stacks up against this Grey Knight army. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. The I'd four pin bones are nasty. Well. Yeah. Just as long as I'm making 50, those. 50% 50 chance to just ignore your damage is tough. But I, I think it's important to note too, I have been pretty lucky with them as well. You've like been above making, average. Yeah, you have been a little above average. So if I was a little below average this game, they'd be dead. It'd be a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. So good that, game though. Good game. It was good. I was I was feeling pretty confident after the first turn. I but, was too. I was afraid. That but, knight was just uh, sitting there, and you had already started killing stuff. Killing a decent chunk of models. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's it. Let us know again in the comments what other matchups you want to see. I think you guys have a general idea of what armies we have. We do run into the issue where if you want to see, you know, like Tyranids versus Admech. Those are both Craig armies. Those are both my armies, yeah. and... We could do 
We could, an we, idea is we could do like thousand point games and do army switches or something. Yeah, I would, I mean I love psychic. I'd love to play the uh, the gray knights every once in a while, and I'd love to try the necrons too. It'd be fun to fight my own gray knights. Yeah, ne necrons is an army I know uh, not as yeah. well as you, but I know them. Gray knights would take me. I don't a actually know bit. the necrons that well either. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason we haven't done too many uh, deep dives or tacticals yeah, yeah, for the yeah. Necrons. It's still new yeah. to uh, to Connor and I, yeah. but yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Yeah, that's me too. that's about it. Uh, if you want to support our channel, or go to the Etsy page. Link will be in the description and subscribe. Get us to a thousand. Get us to a thousand. We're so, so close. close.